Hello and welcome to NComputing's MX100S installation guide. Inside your MX100S box includes the following contents. One primary station, two satellite stations, one 12 VDC power cord, three Versa mounts with screws, two USB cables, one guidebook and one vSpace server software installation CD. Note, this step is optional. Screw the three Versa mounts on the back of your monitor using a Phillips screwdriver. Then take the satellite and tighten it around the Versa mount. Using an Ethernet cable, connect one side to the primary station's RJ45 port and the other side to a switch or router. This link provides connectivity to the network. Attach the 12 VDC power cord to the back of the primary station and plug it into an outlet to power on the device. Next. Use the VGA cable to connect the monitor to your primary station. You may connect up to three monitors per primary station. Lastly, connect the keyboard and mouse to the back of the primary station. Now let's connect the primary station to the satellite stations. Take one USB cable, connect it to the front of the satellite station, and connect the other side to the back of the primary station. This powers on your satellite station. Then connect the keyboard and mouse to your satellite device. You have now set up one virtualized desktop. You will perform the same setup on your second satellite device. Go ahead connect the second USB cord to the satellite device and link the other side to the primary station. As well, connect the mouse and keyboard to the satellite device. You have now set up all three clients of your virtualized desktop workstation. You can use the CD to install vSpace server software or download it here from the website. Select Login for Access. You can create an account or log in as a registered user. In the drop down menu under product model, choose MX100S and under operating systems, select your respective operating system. Click apply, scroll down and select download to acquire the files. Open your downloads folder in Explorer and double click the installer.msi to complete the vSpace server software installation. Remember to register your MX100 device. Go to ncomputing.com and log in to register. If you have not already done so, you may create an account or log in as a registered user. Select Management Portal. My Devices and register to enter the device's serial number. Manually enter the number, click save, and you have registered your device. If done within 90 days from purchase, this extends your device warranty by one additional year. You will also receive early notifications of new releases for enhancements and bug fixes. Download NComputing's register app from iTunes or Google Play. Go to login. You may log in as a registered user 
or go to the following website to create an account. Click Start Scanning in the center of the app and your camera will automatically open. Hover over the device's serial number and the app will automatically take a picture of it. Click the timer symbol in the top left and you will see all the devices registered to your account. Please note the following. The MX100 device does not work on legacy operating systems and the maximum users for MX100S is 45. You have now completed the hardware and software installation for your MX100 device. You are ready for desktop virtualization. You can see here users can surf the web in high performance, perform key office work in high quality, and enjoy multimedia in high definition as if they are on their own personal desktop. The IT manager has complete authorization. On the host device, the administrator uses the vSpace console to monitor sessions. Click on the arrow in the bottom right of the taskbar, then double click the end computing symbol. Go to devices to find the session of all connected clients. Right click and select find session. From this interface, you may view the user's session Send a message to the user. Or end the user's session. This concludes the tutorial for the MX100S installation guide. Thank you from N Computing.